Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Troll Warlock. Hope everyone is doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we are over in uh, Terracar Forest in Outland, we're going to head over to Shadowmoon Valley, uh, and we are in the process of collecting our soul stones that we need for our Green Fellfire quest. So we're going to continue that this morning here in Outland. Uh, we have three more to pick up, so it may take us a little bit to fly between the zones. Uh, but we are headed to Shadow Moon Valley for this first, uh, the second one. Uh, then we'll go to Blade's Edge and then to Shadow, uh, then to Nether Storm. Excuse me. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> We just got to Outland on our uh, three characters in uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So uh, looking forward to leveling those three characters through Outland. But man, it's been a long time since I've been here. So it'll be interesting. Well, it's been a year since I've been here. Uh, over a year. So I think it was like July of 2022 the last time I was in Outland. And that was on our Night Elf Hunter that we were leveling through the through the area. Holy cow, that's a big area. Let me look this up so we can speed this up a little bit this morning. All right, here it is. It's, uh, let's see, Shadowman Valley, 42, 89, 44, 91. 42. 42, 89, and 44, 91. It's almost on top of this quest icon right here. Oh, there's a cold. All right. <clears throat> Guys, have to forgive me. I got a little tickle in my throat this morning. I'm not really sure why. There it is. I'm like standing on top of it. All right, let's head to Blade's Edge. Let's see, where's the um, flight pass over here? Yeah. I flew right past the Horde settlement. The Alliance settlement's over there behind me. I was thinking, for some, some reason, I was thinking the Horde settlement was like up here. I guess not. All right, I guess send me back to um, the chat wrath. At least it speeds it up a little bit. I wish we had fast flying, but another five levels we'll get that.
All right, guys, I'll pause it and I'll restart it once we get there. All right, guys, we're in chat wrath. Let's uh, fly over to Blade's Edge. <clears throat> now, I just read that I should have done the Shadow Moon Valley last because we have to go back there after we find the other two soul stones anyway. So, oh well, that's all right. We'll fly back. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to pause this, we'll fly up here to, uh, I'll fly all the way to Blades Edge Mountains, uh, and then, that way you guys don't have to wait the whole time I'm flying, um, just because that's all I'm doing is just flying through the air, so, I'll, I'll start it back up once we get in the Blades Edge Mountains, and, uh, we're looking for that next, uh, next soul stone, so, stand by. And welcome back, guys, I just picked up the flight path here in, uh, Blades Edge, and, and it looks like the fragment is like right in this little area, just uh, to kind of the bottom right of this of this quest icon. So we're going to fly over that way and see if we can find it. And then into Nether Storm and then back to Shadow Moon Valley. <clears throat> <clears throat> Forgive me, guys. I have a bad frog in my throat this morning. I bet it's in this camp right here. Bell camp. No, maybe not. But it's over here. <clears throat> yep, there it is. It's always in the middle of like some kind of weird ritual site or something. Oh, hello, Mr. Doom Guard. All right, and then in um, Nether Storm, 5350, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, <clears throat> All right, so somewhere like right up in this little peninsula up here. Um, let's grab the flight path here to Area 52, and then we'll fly up there. We'll grab the other flight path up here in this dome because it's on the way. Okay, and then it looks like it's over here. Maybe this old Drenai town, Drenai village.
Yep, lots of demons around. <clears throat> there it is. All right, we have them all. You collected all four fragments of Jubica's Soul Stone. Now you you just need to fuse them together now. The Soul Stone shards fuse together easily in your hands. Strangely, no soul is sorted within the stone stored within the stone. They say the soul seems to be drawing power from somewhere in Shadow Moon Valley. Looking east, you feel power linked between the mountains to the very gates of the Black Temple. All right, so we have to go to the Black Temple. Let's see, talents. What do we want? Dark Pact. Shadow Fury. I like Shadow Fury. Where are we headed down here? That's the next question. Um, summon Soul Keeper that tor consumes all tormented souls you've collected, blasting enemies for 20 chaos. You collect tormented souls from each target you kill and occasionally escape souls you previously collected. Interesting. We do drain life, soul burn. Let's see. Let's get. Let's start flying, and then I'll. Uh, I'll decide. Yo! Right back. Hit the two Shadow Fury, and I'll go into Incinerate Damage next. What do I need to resolve? Hardens your skin, reducing all damage by 25%. Okay. I need to resolve, reduces damage an additional 15%. Reduces the cooldown. By 45 seconds. What's a three minute cooldown? I guess let's do Dark Accord. All right, guys, I'll pause it. I'll start it back up when we get to Shadow Moon. All right, guys, we're about to land in Shadow Moon Valley again and fly over to the Black Temple to continue this quest line. You know, I think I, I've done all of Outland. Um, I've done all the Lore Masters, but Outland's the only one I think I have not finished on my Paladin because there was some quest or something I could not find in this zone. Uh, I may need to try it again now that all these quests are highlighted and see if I can finish that up uh, because it's the only thing I don't think I've ever finished is Lore Master of Outland. Yeah, see, it doesn't. It shows I've never finished it, which is interesting. And I th I'm almost positive it's it's only this zone that I haven't finished. <clears throat> Maybe I'll look into that again. Try to finish that up and knock it out. Amazing how different this zone looks than Shadow Moon Valley in. Um, I mean, it's, it's similar than the Shadow Moon Valley in Draenor, right, but it's not the same.
All right, seek the sigil. Jupica's soul stone has led you to the Black Temple. The only thing left to do is find a way inside. It is clear that Jupica's soul stone has led you here to the Black Temple. The question remains why. The only remaining option is to head inside and figure out why they are here. They were here. All right, we know how to get inside. And I'm going to pull out my Void Walker. I don't think it's really going to matter. Because everything is pretty much like a one shot, maybe. Wait, in a time walk? Why can't I? Oh, seriously? You cannot enter the entrance while participating in a time walking campaign. Well, that's dumb. Here I have the quest, and I can't even go inside. Ah. Uh. Okay. Crap. Well, I'm sorry, guys. That was a way complete waste of time. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just continue questing. I'll do this on my own time. That's weird, because I'm in Cataclysm. I must have to be in Outland to do it. I'll, I'll try to figure that out. Sorry about that, guys. That was a waste of 15 minutes of our time, 17 minutes of our time. Well, I have it for next time, so we'll, we'll, we'll start there. Okay, let's continue questing here in the Southern Barrens. We have quite a bit to do. All right, we need the enormous Kodo Hearts. We need uh, Torrin Vengeance, Fire, Firestone Point. We also have quests over here to do. Oh, that's in uh, Duskwall Marsh. And we got to kill General Hawthorne. Let's go up here and do that first. It looks like everything else is leading us south. I need to sell some stuff. Our inventory is getting full. my sound is up. Yep, it is. Okay. Alright, where is General Hawthorne? Speak with Carthog, then lure out and assassinate. Is this him here? Here he is. Loktar. May your blades never die. For the Horde. There he is. Let's see if I let him attack first. that. Yeah, I don't want to get into an alliance area because I'll get shot down. And uh, there's an alliance town right here. Fort here. Alright, we need an enormous Kodo heart. There he is. Land Quaker Bull.
right, next is Torin Vengeance. Uh, yeah, it's Dunmo... Dunmo... Is it Dunmo Dur? No, that's not right. It's down here in the Dwarven uh, Fortress. Hail. Ancestors watch over you. Hmm, Bail Modon, that's it. There's an herb over here we can pick up. Kill this rock elemental. Or earth elemental. Alright, we need to kill ten dwarves. <laughs> he ran he charged me and then it went it chased him. That was funny. Sorry about that. Ooh, I was in the middle of combat. I couldn't hit my mute button. All right, one more. Wait, is he inside? Where do I go next? Weasel in the hen house. A weasel. <laughs> His name is Weasel. That's funny. What's shaking? You do good work, Warlock. That riot you caused at the fortress entrance has caused the dwarves running around with their heads cut off. Keep your ear to the ground. Dwarf Fortress. I don't know if you noticed on your way in, but the whole fortress is erected around a giant cannon. If we can just find the ammunition magazine, we could blow this place sky high as easy as it kiss my hand. But, to figure it out how I'm going to need the fortress schematics, I haven't been able to steal them yet. Look for the plans on the lowest floor right down these stairs. Go get them, champ. I'm going to turn the music down just a bit because it is very loud. There we go. Let's try that. Hopefully that's better for you guys because it's very loud. There's a commander. Oh. Boat murder. <laughs> His name is Boat Murder. <laughs> That's funny. Who, who in the hell would name their kid Boat Murder? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, all right. 
Well, spit it out. Give me the plants, quickly. Our time grows short. Mostly because I've been eating my disguise. Don't be a stranger. There's a piece of cheese on his head. Let's see, let's see. It looks as though the artillery shells are prepped here and then loaded into a secure magazine. Weasel rubs his hands together. Zanjo, are you ready to blow some stuff up? Have a good one. Sabotage. These dwarven artillery shells are, have a built-in airburst timer. That is easy. Let's sabotage one of the artillery shells in the loading bay and then hoist it up into the magazine. Boom, baby, boom. You'll find the shells in one of two loading bays in the main garage on this level. It's right around the corner. Once you've rigged the artillery shells, run. Run like the wind, Zonzo, and then report back to Gan at camp. Uh, Gan, back at camp. I'll be right behind you. Catch you on the flip side. artillery shell. That is a very large artillery shell. Let's go. Pretty cool. How may I aid you? Bail done, destroyed. Wincing in pain, Gan twists his head to appear behind him where a plume of smoke darkens the skyline. Zanzo, my friend, you have avenged Taraho and avenged the Toran people. The invaders will not soon recover from that blow. Thank you. Gan closes his eyes, his head tipping forward as his breath gives way to a series of ragged coughs. Be careful. Spearhead. The winds. Next of kin, Nato pulls you aside and speaks in a whisper. Zonzo, I have removed the bullet from Gan's chest, but bubbles in his blood tell me all I need to know. His lungs are punctured and the wound grows septic. It is not long before he is not long for this world. Take this. It's the bullet that killed him. His family will want to know what became of their youngest warrior. Seek out Alto's stone spire. He is posted in Duskwalla Marsh. Go northeast and follow the roads to Black and Wall Village. Ancestors watch over. Okay, um, now we need to go over here and do Firestone Point. And we go turn all this in. I guess we could go to Dust Wallow next. Why not? There's a breadcrumb leading there. Alright, here's Firestone Point. The winds guide you. Winds be at your back. This is from Krogol? Wonderful. Despite the turmoil in the world, we can we can't turn our back on the Silith of Threat. It is important that the people at Krogol study the, our enemies closely and learn its secrets for the fight ahead. Tana opens the book and glances over the first page. Her face falls. Oh, well, I suppose it's something, at least. Ancestors, watch. The Disturbed Earth. We are here to monitor the scars of the land and watch for further signs of instability. While we haven't seen any yet, a cataclysm after, aftershock could devastate the barrens even further. To the northeast, near the chasm, Earth Elementals rampage out of control. To soothe the Earth, I need these occasionally to be destroyed and their essence returned to the ritual. Returned in a ritual. If you would help us do this, Warlock, it would be happy to reward you. Walk with the Earth. Go with Concern the for Mancrick. I would ask a favor of you, Warlock. A warrior named Mancrick passed through our camp not long ago on a long journey. His wife was killed by the Quill Boar long ago, and he still seeks revenge. I cannot forget his eyes, burning with inconsolable hatred every waking moment. We did not talk long, but I cannot bear to think of him out there alone. Please bring this to Mancrick and tell him it's from me. Strength. Feeling thorny. Mancrick's fur, fur, furor over his dead raises uh, further concerns, Warlock. The quill bore of Razorfin Crawl are more ruthless and full of hatred than Mancrick could ever imagine. You should travel south and speak with my old friend Arid Stonespire. He works, he works to put an end to their rampage before the land suffers more of its already weakened condition. Farewell. <clears throat> Okay, so let's, um, I guess we'll do the Earth Elementals. They're right here.
I don't need you, Land Quaker Bull. And there's level 37. Let's see. I guess we could do Soul Fire. Ooh, burns the target soil, soul, appear, applying Immolate. Yeah, let's do that. That'll replace Immolate. We'll kind of lead with that, I guess. It's a three-second cast, though. I wonder if casting Conflagrate reduces the uh, cast time on it. I bet it does. Let's find out. Oh, Incinerator Chaos Bolt. Yeah, 2.6 seconds, though, it says. Okay. That's a long cooldown, too. I don't know. That may not be the best talent. It does quite a bit of damage. It does 1,900 damage. It actually does more than Chaos Bolt. Maybe good for bosses. Maybe not for leveling. Too well. Let's drop this. I think I'll pick up Havoc. Marks the target with Havoc for 5 seconds, causing your single target spells to also strike the Havoc victim for 60% of the damage dealt. To a nearby enemy. See, I don't want... That's more for AoE stuff. I mean, it's good for future, but not for right now. Increase the duration of Immolate by 3 seconds. Let's do that. Try to start using him a little bit more. All right, let's. See. Well, that's weird. Oh, I still have soul fire. That's really weird. I just got rid of it, and I still <laughs> it shows I still have it in my in my spell book. Maybe a Havoc build is good for uh, future dungeons, but for right now, it's I don't really need it for single target leveling. There's the four fragments we need. Let's grab this gold thorn. Oh, nice. Another... Another travel... Or, um, um, trading post. I already have everything for this month, which is good. Man, Crick's farther down. There he is. He's killed a lot of Quillbor. Strength and honor. What is it? I am busy. Go with honor. Maha, Ma, Maka sent you? Mancrick's fury quells for a moment. It is a small comfort. It is a small comfort, but nothing can be can, nothing can console me until I am done here. Go forth to victory. Don't stop bereaving. Uh, <laughs> bereavement, bereaving. Uh, for a moment, I thought my hatred had stilled. My wife laid to rest, a final offering of blood for, of her murderers to quell her tortured spirit. I thought perhaps peace would appeal to me. I was wrong. I will not rest now until every single filthy, squealing, murderous quill bore lays dead and broken. I cannot kill them fast enough for my own hands. Go and slay more for me, troll. For the whore. Oh, 
blood of the barons. This bright red stone found clutched in the glass grasp of a cool boar has been carefully carved into a likeness of a great boar, with thorny vines sporting from its back. Its surface is smooth and worn with care. Did the quill boar make this? If you find others, maybe the shaman at Firestone Point can tell you more about them. Is that a mine over there? Nope, that's not what I want. I was actually trying to cast Chaos Bolt that last time and I hit Drain Life instead. I think it is a goblin mine. Yeah, mine is new. I don't remember seeing it there before. I uh, maybe I did back in you know cataclysm days, but it's been a long time. Another elixir of giant growth. I think I have like four of those in my inventory. One, two, three. Geez, I do have four of them. That's funny. We need one more blood shard. There it is. Oops, I forgot to read the quest. Sorry about that. Uh, Echoes of a, a Magamon. Uh, I think of the quill boar being driven by more than just crude desire. Would you help me look into this further? To the west, scattered among the quill boar settlements and camps, I've noticed boar skulls. They're gleaming from a distance, polished smooth, distinct from the remains of litter across the waste piles. I would think of these were maybe were objects of worship. Bring me several of these to examine, Zonzo. Strength. Let's go back to Man Crick. Sug, sug. Good. Take your reward. This is only a prelude. Double. Mangletooth. I no longer care for honor or glory, Warlock. All that matters to me is the quill board die. By any means, at anyone's hand. Mangletooth is the chief of these filthy razor mane. Sits in a lair to the northwest atop a hill. End his life. I plan to stay here and pile these bodies until no verm... Ver no more vermin run squealing from the crawl to face me. Straight. All right. Here's one skull.
It's interesting, I found that skull over here. It's another herb. There's no quill bore around here. I think these camps will be full of them. I mean, these are both dungeons. Razor Fin Downs and Razor Fin Crawl. I definitely remember this area from Classic. Oh, there's a the Colterran Druid. Nice. <clears throat> so I started a balanced Druid, uh, a Night Elf balanced Druid over in... Uh, in Dragonflight as well, because after playing the Emerald Dream, it made me really want to play a Druid again. Uh, I've been running a couple dungeons, and unfortunately, I've been healing them, so I decided to do Resto and Balance, kind of balance, you know, between those two. And I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I've gotten the healing bug again, and I've been having a lot of fun playing her and uh, leveling uh, as a Resto Druid. So uh, I definitely want to play Balance, though, because I've never played Balance before, and I want to give it a shot. What do you need? Good, good. They will all die. Their chieftains, their women, and their children, and their foul pets. Double. And you are on a vengeance quest. A quest for vengeance. Greetings. Do you have the skulls? Go forth to the yes, these are clearly symbols of Agamemnon. Uh, if the quill boar are still devoted to the dead god, what is the source of their vicious aggression? If Agamemnon was noble, if it is said that Agamemnon was noble, even if he gave his life fighting the burning legion. A moment, Zonzo, we must confer with the spirits. Go with honor. Maka's plea. I can't put him out of my mind, Zonzo. Sometimes at night I can hear his howls of rage and suffering echoing across the plains. To imagine him out there alone and in such pain, I must ask a favor of you. Go to Mancrick and tell him to come see me. Farewell. Right, we've already been the man crick once and for you and now we're going back telling him to come over here right, mocker wants you to come see her you could have easily walked your happily butt over here and told her or told him yourself what can I thank you zonzo you? all right well that was easy Okay, let's go up and turn these desolate, turn these quests into Desolation Point, and that should finish up the Southern Barrens for us, and then we'll make our way into Duskwall Marsh next, I guess. Alright, here's your enormous Kodo heart. Called her grass with a gigantic heart in both hands, squeezing it and listening to the valve slurp and squish. His pale mask of his face splits into an enormous childlike grin. It is very important to love one's work, wouldn't you agree, Zonzo? Cater chucks the heart over his shoulder into a waist high pile of entra entrails. Smarts is smarts. A monstrosity is taking shape. My monstrosity is taking shape. All that is left is to stuff its skull with something useful. I'm talking about brains, Zonzo, and I'm here to I'm here, I'm going to be picky. The abomination process causes significant brain damage, so it's best to start with someone smart. One of the Alliance officers should do nicely. Seek out one of the captains on the far side of the battle scar and try not to damage the goods while you kill him. Okay. 
Increase incinerate damage by 5%. We'll take that. Why am I changing talents? Oh, that's why. It didn't it didn't select to prove em emulate earlier. Speak, friend. Alright. The butcher of Toraho. Upon hearing the news, Blood Hilt snorts. His eyes gleam, he tips his head back and bellows a wet, crackling laughter that echoes between the blackened walls of Desolation Hold and reverberates throughout the hills beyond. So it is done. The Butcher of Toraho is felled at last. Cut down on the streets like a dog. Fitting. You have done well, Zonzo. You have sold fear into our enemies, and soon we will reap the harvest. Go forth to victory. Alright, I need an Alliance officer. We're almost finished with the Southern Barons here, guys. We got a fresh brain. Yeah, I definitely got to clean up my inventory. Hello. Brains. Pelter holds the brains in an outstretched hand while withdrawing a gore caked multi tool from his belt. Wonderful work. Now, the secret here is to leave the reptilian nervous system intact while removing the higher cognitive functions. We can't have our new friend developing a conscience or remembering he's Alliance. Calder digs and snips a brain, removing large chunks. And we're finished. How lovely. And that's it, guys. Oh, there he is. That's cool. There's the Southern Barons finished. All right, let's make our way into... Um, I guess we'll go into... Duskwall of Marsh next. Uh, we have quests here. We also have quests over here. I guess let's go on over... Mm. This is kind of the breadcrumb that leads us there. Suspicious hoof prints. Suspicious hoof prints. A row of hoof prints leads away from the still smoking skeleton of Shady Rest Inn. There are a few visible impressions with more row of footprint more row of prints almost imperceivable in the soft mud of the marsh. Lieutenant Pavel Reeve. A glint on the ground catches your eye underneath the rubble. Brushing debris and ash caked into the object reveals an insignia of gold anchor on the white, enameled on the surface as a sign of Theramore. Underneath the anchor is embossed the name Lieutenant Pavel Reed. An iron, the Black Shield, an iron shield blackened by the fire that raged through the inn, is affixed to the crumbling chimney, one of the few remaining parts of the structure that once made up the Shady Rest Inn. The shield can be removed from the brick of the chimney. Now we have to take these to Krog over in Brackenwall Village. Wow, lots of quests. All right, here you go. Here's the Black Shield. What's that that you have there, Zonzo? Evidence from the remains of the Shady Rest Inn? 
I grant that humans have strange decorating tastes, but why would they put a plain iron why would they use a plain iron shield to adorn their fireplace? Perhaps the shield was placed there by the ones who burned the inn. A warning? A threat? Go forth to victory. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary with a shield. We should have Dongol Dogol the blacksmith take a look at it and see if he can tell us more about it. But I wouldn't hold out hope. For the horde. Be safe. Hoofprints? It could have been the Kulbor, I suppose, or maybe even the Centaur. Their presence in the Barrens is not is not insignificant, and I would not think of a stretch I would not think of it a stretch to commit such an act. Did I tell you? I wasn't just the inn that was burned down. The owner's woman and pup were killed. Bad business, that. Nonetheless, I will send Kar Goro to find where the tracks lead. May your blades never dull. Lieutenant Pavel Reed, have you found any leads on what happened at Shady Rest Inn? Strength. Hmm, now this is interesting. Go forth to victory. May your blades never dull. Dark Mist Extermination. The spiders that occupy Dark Mist Cavern to the northwest are another vicious threat to us here. They are nothing the ogres can't handle, or cannot handle, but splitting our attention to them is where Theramore's forces lurk nearby is a deadly mistake. I need someone to destroy the eggs inside Dark Mist Cavern to cut off this infestation. You will find the eggs in the deepest part of the web mines along their guardian, along with their guardians. Strength for the horde. A shambling threat. Duskwallow is horde territory, Zonzo. The humans have made their little island in their precious sandbar, uh, but the marsh belongs to us. In time, we will surely win this stalemate with the humans. For now, we must master our own territory. The weathervine be bog beast from the north rise to the marsh itself, rise from the marsh itself to attack any living thing that approaches. If we own this marsh, we must not let our own land fight back against us. Slay the bog beast if you wish to serve the horde. You will be rewarded. Be safe. May your blades never Inspecting dawn. the ruins. If you follow the road south from the village, you'll you'll run across the barrens. You'll come across the ruins of Shady Rest Inn. Theramore has sent an investigator to discover how the inn met its fate. I placed a man at the inn as a spy, but I do not trust him. The con uh, do not trust the competence of the humans to uncover what happened. Whatever you find, don't give it a scrap to, to the investigator. We'll handle this ourselves. Go forth to victory. All right, so I've already Strength. been there. Talk to Olgrod. I know this human, Pavel Reed. Pathetic, even for his kind. He deserted his fellow soldiers as now is hiding out of the woods. I sent Ogron to track him down. Some of the others suspect he's been stealing from our supplies. I think I saw Ogron heading off to the southeast. Be safe. Yeah, there's a lot of quests here. Something for me, Warlock? This is a good shield. Very strong. Heavy. Good. But Dogol doesn't... don't need it. I make shields. Don't buy them, Zonzo. You should know that. Hmm, there is writing here on the rim of the shield, but it is hard to read from all the burned stuff. I need acid to make it clear. Venom from the Dark Mist Spiders would do good. The spiders have taken over an old mine, the Dark Mist Cavern, northwest of the village. Give me some of their sacks and I can clean this up. Alright, let's sell all this junk we don't need. Buy back the ah oh crap already. No. Buy back the leather. Move those down here. Dwarven slug. King's blood. Gan's rib is right over here. We got to turn that in here. Strength and honor. Wow, there's a lot of quests here. Strength. There are more spies. The Horde and Alliance hold an uneasy truce. Outlying skirmishes and covert actions are taken by the one side against the other, and it is our duty to ensure the Horde is on top. 
Now is the chance to do just that. Alliance infiltrators have taken very, taken positions east of Brackenwall Village. They spy on the village and report our movements to Theramore, which we cannot allow. Hunt down the infiltrators and slay them. Send clear messages. Send a clear message to their superiors that we will not tolerate their spies' presence. Victory, farewell. Check up on Tabitha. A human woman named Tab a human woman named Tabitha lives on a small farm in the middle of the marsh. Ordinarily, I wouldn't associate with a human, but give, but her help has proven useful at times. Unfortunately, she's been out of touch for for quite some time now, and I'm looking for someone to travel down to her farm to see if everything's all right. If you follow the road south out of the village and then into the swamp's interior, you'll find her near the middle of the quagmire. Are the horde, Abu? Help Mudsprocket. The Steamwheel Cartel's new outpost in the southern part of the marsh isn't faring so well. The Zeppelin carrying supplies to Mudsprocket crashed, leaving them without vital tools, food, and medical supplies. Follow the road down south and into the marsh's interior. You'll pass by Tabitha's farm and the Stone Mall ruins before the road brings you to Mudsprocket. Offer any help you can to provide the town's leadership. Strength! Provide to the town's leadership. Greetings, traveler. Hello, Warlock. You look caked in dust instead of mud. I take it you venture here from the Barrens? Walk. Alto clenches the bullet in his palm as you tell his story. Tell your story. Gan, dead? I should have known. This temper, his recklessness, I knew someday it would get the better of him. But it sounds as though you've already gifted him with vengeance. Thank you, Zonzo. Turn your attention now to Duskwallow. If the Alliance finishes their cursed road through here, your victories will in the Barrens will have been for nothing. May the eternal sun shine. Alright, just a couple more quests to pick up. Overlord Mock Morok's Concern. Bow before Overlord Mock Morok. Rexar makes me a make me mighty leader of Stonemaw Clan. Make me good leader. Me keep clan safe. Big dragons come and make fire at old home. Me smart ogre. Me find new home for clan here. Leave old home so fast. Me forgot stuff. Tiny troll. Go get my things. Go south and find my yummy grog. My snuff. My strong box. If me like you after you do that. You look after. You look in den of flame and Stonemaw ruins. They be there. Me stir. Okay. The Hermit of Witch Hill. The marsh seems to have a strange effect on humans. Some grow mad simply by living here. Anyone who has ever settled at Swamp Light Manor has gone mad in a spectacular way. The latest owner, one Swamp Eye Yarl, is already showing signs. Don't completely understand what's happening there. You have my thanks for looking into it. The manor is at the eastern edge of the swamp. Trek east across Bluefin and past the North Point Tower. The manor is a haunted perch of land called Witch Hill. Identifying the Brood. Whilst the craven fool, Mock Morak, wallows in power and Frog wrestles the demons of sorrow and vengeance and vies for leadership of the clan. I seem to be the only one concerned for identifying the source of the aggression on our old home. Why the puzzled stare, Zonzo? Expecting me to speak with an uncouth ruffian merely because I'm an ogre? Now back to business. Bring me the hearts and tongues from the whelps and hatchlings shall, shall trace the root of this evil. I think we know where the root of evil comes from, given that Onyxia is here. We will persevere. Twilight of the Dawn Runner. The ogres here are useful for little more than crude jokes, sour ale, and doubts of abouts of headbutting. When my ship, the Dawn Runner, ran aground, uh, ran aground, those curs from Theramore made off with my cargo and last su surviving crewmen. I made my way here in search for help, but those good look for looking good for nothing ogres stared blankly at me when I told my story. I could use the help of a reliable troll in recovering what remains of my cargo and freeing Anathia from North Point Tower to the east, uh, to the northeast, where they're being held. Hold your head high. All right. Two more quests here, guys. An army for the black of uh, the army of black uh, army of the black dragon. Mock Morak is was made overlord by Rexar. He cares more for power than he cares for ogres. Black dragons kill many ogre, kill Thorg's wife. Mock Morak tells us to run. Make us come here. Ogres should fight. Ogres no good at running. Mock Morak only care about Mock Morak. Me call Stone Mall ruins home. Me like it in the south. This place not home. Help ogres fight army of black dragons. Me want revenge. Me want to go home. Smash the blood queen. Big spider. Kill the spider. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Is there an in here? Yeah, it looks like there is. Here he is. All right, we'll set her in here. And then I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll figure out how we get into the Black Temple so we can finish our Fellfire quest. And I may either do that at the beginning of the next episode, or I may um, 
do that in my own time. We'll see. But until we meet again, guys, hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time.